Legend had it that once upon a time, there was a beautiful moon queen who lived in the mystic forest. By chance, she met and fell in love with the king of the Light Kingdom. Together, they had two cute princesses named Irene and Sarah. However, their happiness didn't last long when the evil force led by Owl in the mystic forest usurped the power of the queen. Although the king and the almighty wizard tried to stop it, only Irene was saved, and Sarah was still carried away by that owl. Heartbroken by the loss of his wife and young child, the king used all his magic to build a wall of light to protect Irene. Day by day, Irene grew up in the care and love of the king. Irene was very kind, but she was the only child in the family. She still had a bit of pride and frivolity, causing a lot of trouble for everyone. <laughs> Furthermore, she always sensed that there was something mysterious on the other side of the wall. However, because of her father and the wizard's warnings about a terrifying forest there, she never got close to the wall. One day, while she was helping poor people, she discovered that a villager sneaked two servings of food and ran into a small alley. With her chivalrous nature, she hurried after that person and discovered that she was silently passing food through a hole in the wall of light. Huh? Mm, let me see who you are. How dare you break the wall of light and seduce the people here to be your minions? However, after Irene caught that person, she realized her face was very similar to hers. Why do you look like me? However, when they touched each other's hand, suddenly a part of the wall vibrated and turned dark. Huh? Irene, what happened? Get away from the wall of light now! Hearing her father's call, Irene panicked and let go of the other girl's hand, huh? causing the wall to suddenly collapse, and she was almost injured if it wasn't for her father's help. Father, you're hurt. I will take you home to recuperate. While Irene was hurrying to take the king back to the palace, the wizard suddenly fell silent and glimpsed the figure of the other girl as she left. The, the princess is still alive? So God helps good people. After the wizard returned and learned that the king's condition was not very good, she immediately talked to Irene about what she had just discovered. Don't worry too much, Princess Irene. The person you just met is your sister, the moon princess Sarah, and the one who will help you find the wish flower in the mystic forest. That flower can grant you any wish on the planet, including restoring the king's health. That's also the reason why the owl betrayed your parents and took Sarah away. Luckily, God helped Sarah to be safe and give us the opportunity to save the king. So, how can I and Sarah find a place where Wish Flower is hidden? As long as the two of you are together, the synergy from your tattoos will activate and indicate the direction of the Wish Flower. Thank you, I understand. Mm. I will try to find my sister and help my mm. father get well again. Later, the wizard helped Irene cross the Wall of Light into the forest to find Sarah, but she didn't notice that a dark light was also following her. The mystic forest was mysterious and magical, so that Irene gradually got lost and even heard strange beasts and whispers around there. Not thinking much, Irene quickly used light magic to ward off the evil forces around her but that only made them angrier. Just as Irene was about to continue fighting, Sarah hurriedly appeared, using magic to block her light attack. Mm, princess of the Kingdom of Light, please stop and don't hurt them! Why? These creatures are trying to attack me, so I'm just defending. Has anyone really attacked you? But you were hurting them like that! Looking back at the creatures around, Irene realized that she had been too hasty and injured them. Huh? Moreover, there were only gentle creatures and poor people left behind when the Wall of Light was built, so please don't huh? harm them. I'm sorry, just because I heard that this forest has a lot of ferocious creatures and I also wanted to find you sooner. 
That's why I was so hurried. Please forgive me. Afterward, huh? Irene told Sarah the story mm -hmm. of her parents, as well as how she was lost many years ago by a cruel force. But Sarah completely huh? denied her sister's mm -hmm. story. Although they have a scary appearance, they are always happy, live in harmony with me, and no one wants to harm me like people said. Even the owl just wanted to protect me from the evil and darkness in the palace, so he brought me here for everyone to take care of. This story is very different from what I've been told by the wizard, but... <sighs> if what you said is just a misunderstanding, after finding the wish flower, help our father regain consciousness and he will definitely destroy the wall of light so that everyone can return and live happily together as before. Well, if I help Irene find the flower and the people in the forest will have a better life, then I can't give up on this opportunity. Seeing the deal was reasonable, <laughs> Sarah agreed to go with Irene to find the wish flower. As Irene and Sarah huh? held hands, a surge huh? of power radiated from their bodies, creating a path mm. of light in front of them. They followed the path and arrived in huh? front of a big cave without any doors to go inside. Mm. Look, on the wall there are Sun Moon characters very similar to the ones on our hands. Yes. This is more likely the way to enter this cave. Let's try together. Irene and Sarah immediately put their hands on the wall, when suddenly the ground shook. A mysterious gate appeared in front of the cave and led them inside. Gradually, the garden was filled with brilliant flowers, and the tall, majestic angel statue appeared. Welcome to my flower forest. I am the angel guarding this place, and surely you two are the sun and moon princesses wanting to come here to find the wish flower, right? Right. We want to possess that flower to save our father as well as to clear the misunderstanding between mm. the Light Kingdom and the Mystic Forest. It's simple. The flower you are looking for is the most beautiful huh? one huh? here. However, you must find that flower yourself in the middle of this flower huh? forest huh? <laughs> before the hourglass runs out or you will run out of chances huh? to get the flower. <laughs> We got it. Mm. And one more huh? thing. If you choose wrong, huh? the chosen flower will be wilted, which means huh? your father losing a day to huh? live. Huh? Hearing the statue's words, huh? Irene and Sarah frantically tried to choose the correct one, but failed. Huh? Irene gradually looked desperately towards the hourglass that was nearing its end, but all she got was a handful of dead flowers in her hand. I'm so sorry. If only I had been more careful at that time, my <gasps> father wouldn't have suffered like this. Irene, don't be upset. I believe our father also just wanted to protect you. He didn't want you to be hurt, huh? but accepted to sacrifice himself at that time. Besides, father must be very proud to see your efforts now. Sarah, I feel that your hearts and fathers are very similar. Always generous, shining and warm like spring flowers. It's so beautiful. The most beautiful in the world. Mm. That's right. In that case, the most beautiful flower is each person's heart. Irene and Sarah happily looked towards mm. the left breast of the <laughs> angel statue, where there was a stone flower, which was the wish flower they had been looking for. Congratulations to the two princesses for choosing oh. her record. May the two of you use this only wish for the most worthy things. However, the two girls did not have time to rejoice for long, when suddenly a dark light nearby turned into the wizard and suddenly attacked them. <laughs> the wish flower is finally mine! It turned out that the wizard had always wanted to use the magic of the two princesses to get to the place where the wish flower was hidden. But that plan was foiled due to the intervention of the owl. <laughs> With this flower, I will bring the people of the Light Kingdom and the Mystic Forest to worship me as their queen! However, Irene couldn't let the Light Kingdom and the Mystic Forest suffer, so she still tried to resist her. <sighs> well, but even so, then Sarah and I will try to overthrow you and bring peace to everyone with the power of the moon and the sun. If we can't do it, there will be descendants who can do it. 
<laughs> That's right. Then I wish that I would be the person with the ultimate power so that everyone would respect me and not dare to betray me. <laughs> ah! As soon as she finished speaking, the wizard immediately turned into a wish flower. Because the flower was the source of the supreme magic that could do everything in this world. Sarah tried hard and happily huh? hugged Irene, but the dark magic of the wizard just now was so strong that Sarah collapsed, gradually dissipating. Huh? The wish flower gives me only one wish. I cannot save both father and Sarah. Therefore, I am willing to give my life for the flower so that I can save my father and my sister. After saying that, a flash of light enveloped Irene and Sarah, as well as the king in the Light Kingdom, and saved the three of them. <laughs> Irene, your great heart has been penetrated by God, and I will help you live with your family forever. So please cherish this. <laughs> Thank you so much! After saying goodbye to the angel, Irene and Sarah returned to the kingdom in the joy of the king and cleared huh? all misunderstandings. Hmm. Finally, the wall of light was also removed, and the people of the two kingdoms once again lived happily ever after. <laughs> The murky stream was becoming clearer and clearer. Huh? That's miraculous, isn't it? Let's huh? follow Boa Fairy Tales with today's story. <laughs> Once upon a time, there lived a brilliant princess named Dahlia. God gave her not only an outstanding beauty, but also many other talents such as sewing and embroidery. But he took all the luck away from her. Dahlia had been an orphan hmm. since she was a little kid. She even had to live in poverty all the time. It's not like the life of any other princess. The main reason came from the crop failures at her kingdom, making the people have nothing to pay the tax. Her king father had to seek the companionship with other kingdoms, bringing all of their belongings to exchange for their helps, until he had nothing more to exchange. The kingdom was getting poorer and more difficult every day. The king was really worried about that. His health totally collapsed. Dahlia was really worried for her father, but she didn't know what to do to help him. Huh? Huh? Your Majesty, I'm here to announce that my king is choosing the spouse for his prince. If Princess Dahlia join and prove that she has huh? all the qualities huh? of a real princess, we promise to help your kingdom as best as we can. Dahlia was so glad to hear that news. She immediately said goodbye to his father and set out to find a way to save the kingdom. Dahlia eagerly went on with the living hope of being able to help her kingdom solve all the problems. Thinking about that, she started to smile. Wandering in her own thoughts, suddenly she heard a painful cry from far away. When she came closer, she saw a guy with muddy clothes who was being rounded by two guards. She could never ignore the people in danger. Dahlia came up with an idea. Why are you still standing here? Run away! There is a bandit chasing over! Hearing so, the guards believed it with no doubt and ran away immediately. Dahlia watched them for a while, then raised that guy up. It's safe now. Stand up. I just fooled the guards to rescue you. Huh? Thank you. Thank you so much for saving my life. My name is Darcy, an orphan with nothing in hand, so I have always been bullied. Would you do me the honor of asking your name? Why did you wander around this forest? I'm Dahlia, princess of the neighboring kingdom. I'm here to attend the contest of the king for choosing the spouse huh? for his prince. They promised to help my kingdom if I win it. Can I go with you? I will follow to escort huh? you as a thank you for saving my life. Of course! I'm really glad for having a companion. They set out <laughs> together, and finally, they reached the kingdom safely. 
Huh? Hello, Princess Talia. For not wasting your time, I will let you know the challenge right away. I need you to go find the material and huh? bring for me a good mattress. Make me feel mm -hmm. comfortable with it. Because every mattress in this kingdom gave me back mm -hmm. aches. If you manage to do it, you will be the winner. And I'll do everything to help your kingdom. <laughs> yes, your majesty. I will try my best to finish it as soon as possible. <laughs> After hearing that, Dahlia and Darcy immediately set out. However, no matter how much they tried, they still couldn't find the satisfying material. As they were walking, they saw a wounded white deer which was struggling for breath. Dahlia felt pity for it. Then she went to find the medical leaf to cure for it. After being recovered, the deer lowered his head dropped a pearl from its mouth into Dahlia's head and went away. Dahlia put the precious pearl into her bag and continued the journey with Darcy. Walking for many days made them nearly exhausted. They had to stop at a roadside village to take a rest. But strangely, seeing them, the villagers immediately gathered around to ask for water. Both of them had to use all of their water to give them. But it seemed not enough, enough. The villagers quickly drank all of the water. What's happening here? Why are you so lack of water? <laughs> Our village was so famous for weaving. Nowhere else could compare. But the greed blinded us. Instead of using natural material, we created a dye which made the water pollute. We were really regretful. But now, we can do nothing. Feeling pity for the villagers, Dahlia was thinking of a way to save them. Right at that moment, the pearl inside her bag was shining and rolling into the stream. And strangely, the stream was clearer and clearer. <laughs> I knew the way. We just need to put this pearl on the upstream. The water will be clean again. But the upstream is too high. How can I get there? Let me do it. I can climb up there. Yes, but you have to be careful. <laughs> Darcy quickly climbed to the upstream and put the pearl there. The stream was immediately clear as crystal. Making the villagers mm. so happy. <laughs> the villagers were so glad, they thanked Dahlia and gave her a bulk huh? of finest cloth. I want to make really smooth mattress. Do you guys know what material can be stuffed to it? Not far away from here, there is an old cotton plant. Mm. If you can take cotton from it and then stuff to this cloth, you will have a smooth mattress. However, there is a three-headed dog there to watch the plan. There were many people had went there without coming back. Didn't care huh? about the danger, <laughs> Dahlia and Darcy set out right away to find the cotton plan. Indeed, when they reached that place, they saw a three-headed dog who was growing and watching the cotton plan. Seeing them, the dog immediately rushed to attack them. As natural huh? reflex, Darcy hugged Dahlia tight to protect her. The dog was getting closer. They were so scared that they moved backward. Suddenly, Dahlia kicked a gravel and slipped, making a loud noise. The dog immediately stepped back when hearing the sound. That dog is scared of the clash of gravels! Quickly throw the gravel to the ground as hard as we can! They together picked the gravel and threw it to the ground. The dog panicked and immediately ran away. Dahlia and Darcy looked at each other happily. At that time, Darcy even gently squeezed Dahlia's hand. After getting the cotton on the plant, they came back to the kingdom right away. Thanks to Dahlia's weaving talent, she was able to weave a mattress quickly. Unfortunately, Darcy carelessly tore the corner of that mattress. Huh? Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. What should we do now? 
It's all right, just an accident. I can handle it. With her agility, Dahlia quickly embroidered a flower onto that mm. corner of that mattress, making it more beautiful <laughs> than ever. After completing, Dahlia <laughs> immediately brought the mattress to present to the king. Mm. Lying on this mattress for only one night, but the king was really satisfied with it. However, he still wanted to test Dahlia a little <laughs> bit more. He secretly hid the pea under the mattress. Mm. Your mattress is not good at all. I had a backache for the whole night. It's impossible! I've used the best materials! Dahlia mm. was so confident of her mattress that she agreed immediately. But it huh? was so strange. She couldn't sleep for that whole night because of the backache. Your Majesty, this mattress really has the problem. The guilt is mine. Please consider about my spirit. I tried my best. Please help the people in my kingdom. <laughs> How honest, good, and brave you are. I was testing you a little bit. The mattress is excellent. I'm really satisfied with it. You are now the future wife of my son. <laughs> Thank you so much, Your Majesty. But I just want to ask for your only favor. Please save the people in my kingdom. And about mm. the marriage, I'm afraid I will not be able to do that. <laughs> because I've already loved Darcy, my kind companion. What? You dare to refuse my son? Are you insulting my request? Your Majesty, I know that you love me and you want to help me. But love is not the thing that can be forced. I won't be able to marry the prince. Mm. Mm. <laughs> huh? <laughs> this is Darcy, hmm. my soulmate. He is the only one I love. Hmm? I'm the prince. I came up with a plan of disguising into a poor man who was bully. <laughs> and I waited for someone to come, but mm. nobody cared. There was only you who came back and helped me. I loved you for your naivety, intelligence, and bravery. <laughs> Hearing so, Dahlia <laughs> hugged him so tight, they mm. quickly went back to her kingdom <laughs> to help the people there. With Darcy's support, Dahlia's kingdom became prosperous like before. Everyone was really happy. Darcy and Dahlia mm. married and lived a happy mm. life forever after. Hmm. <laughs> wow, fairy tales.